finally what you guys all been waiting for. Drum roll, please. We're doing a photography vlog. I took so long to do it because I just didn't know where to start. I didn't know when to do it. And also, I, I didn't want to make any of my clients feel uncomfortable. But we are taking pictures of the, the Blanca J. So I was like, perfect. Like, this is perfect. She's already super comfortable on the camera. She's already taken pictures of me multiple times. So she already kind of knows how I work. And I won't feel like uncomfortable as if I would have taken to be on this picture. This is actually perfect. We're both super comfortable with each other. We both, I know her angles. She knows how I take my picture. So it's perfect. I'm so excited for taking her maternity pictures which they make me so happy because literally her second baby we're gonna have Franco we're gonna have Jonathan in the pictures yeah, the ideas that she has for her photo shoot are so freaking beautiful I'm so excited to show you guys all of them these are some of the inspos that she sent me over I also went ahead and I did my research and I also have some inspos for her as well I'm so excited because this is actually a style that I've been wanting to transition into but in Arizona it's a little bit different and it's not really much of this style if I'm being completely honest with you guys so driving out to California is actually perfect to do this I'm so excited. We're on our way right now to check out the Laguna Beach to see the area, how it is. I've never been to this beach before, so I decided to get here a little bit earlier than the session just to see what it's like, what it looks like. Is it hard to get there? Is there a little climb? So it is 10.40 a.m. right now. We're planning on taking the pictures around 3. So one thing that I love to do is I usually like to take pictures during sunset hours. The sun here in California sets at 5.10. So I do need to start taking pictures an hour before. So before uh, we're going to start at 3. 30 just to give us more time just because Franco is two so usually uh, when they're two they just don't want to just stand in one place you know they want to be playing around so we're gonna let him do his thing and we don't want to like be too controlling over what he's really doing with the session we're gonna give ourselves time just to kind of like make it a fun shoot and not very like professional and super like tight and you gotta stare at this camera for two hours so we're on our way there we're gonna see how it is I hope it's not too much of a climb I hope it's easy and I hope that the Sun kind of covers it up a little bit I absolutely love pictures where there's, the, there's direct sunlight but sometimes I'm not I don't like when my clients look too washed out i'm not big on editing i'm not the best editor i feel like i just know my basic editing skills so sometimes i don't know how to like transition from like a super washed out look into like making them look a little bit more normal so hopefully the sun does get covered up from the mountain and we'll check it out i'll kind of give you guys updated i also brought a digital camera to get some fun vintage photos as well let's head over to laguna beach Those black ass beaches. Why don't we come here? Holy shit. I feel like this is paradise. Paradise? Yeah, I know. We out here trying to go to Europe? Look. What does this look like? Europe is here. Europe is here. This is really fucking nice. Like, How crazy is this? These pictures are gonna look so badass. Amazing would probably be the word. Amazing. Look at like right there. Bro, I swear, I feel like whenever there's like a movie scene where it's like someone's going to heaven, like this is the, this it is the scene. It is. Yeah, it li literally looks like paradise. Like. <laughs> Okay guys, so the idea is 
to take the majority of the pictures right here. Me and Adrian are still trying to figure out if the sun's gonna set this way or this way. I don't know, if, maybe we can figure out if we're on northeast or west and that one, no. So we're trying to figure out if it's gonna set this way or this way. So depending on what side it's gonna set on, we're basically gonna put our subject, which is Blanca, Jonathan, and Franco, right in behind the, the sun, okay? Sometimes we're gonna put them in front of the sun just to kind of get that lighting, but the majority of the time they're gonna be behind it. And I think these big mountains are gonna do a really good job to help us like kind of like reduce the sunlight and it not be so bright like how it is right now. Right now it's extremely bright. It's like not, oh my God, look at the dog. Oh, shoot. And then we're also, I saw this rock right here and this looks so freaking beautiful. I think we could take them really, really nice like solo pictures of Blanca right there. But we'll definitely kind of use, obviously we'll take some of her here too, but we'll kind of use this more for the family. But I definitely want to do some of her, like even sitting on the rocks. All right, but we're going to go, we're going to go help her out. Um, she went to go look for some outfits, but she said that they didn't have anything that she was looking for. So I'm going to see if maybe a boutique around here um, has anything for her to wear. Because we need to get these outfits on point. All right guys, this beach is freaking beautiful. Like, I'm amazed. Oh my God. Honestly, like I don't think me and Adrian knew that California had this. And there's so much more to explore to California, so we're gonna do a exploring California segment. <laughs> there's, it's so nice here. Like I'm, I'm so happy that I that we found this location. We're gonna go look for the outfits, like I mentioned to you guys. I'm gonna see if there's some small boutiques. Hopefully it's not too expensive. Usually small boutiques, usually small boutiques have them like pretty pricey. So we're gonna go look for a white dress and a white button up. I'm gonna send her pictures and see what she tells us. Oh my God! Look, 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 look. So we gotta be careful Mother with Blanca. Nature. Mother Nature is so nice. Ross, we headed over to what we thought was a regular boutique, but it was actually a thrift store. It was a pretty good thrift store, if I'm being honest with you. I wish I was able to shop because I would have gotten a few things from there. We decided to still look around because sometimes some thrift stores can have some pretty cool things. So we were seeing if we can find anything that was still brand new, which we did find a few dresses. They were super, super cute, but they weren't the style that we were looking for. And they also were not in the color scheme that we were looking for. So we decided to leave and head over to Blanca's and just take her whatever we did find at Ross, which honestly was super, super useful and it was exactly what we needed for the photo shoot. We arrived to downtown Disney and although I wish that we were going into the park, we definitely were not, but we will come back, I promise. I decided to change in the car because my first idea was to bring in my big ass luggage into Blanca's hotel and I was like, you know what, this is too much. I'm not about to walk with this luggage. So I'm just gonna change in the car, which I did. And let me tell you guys, I brought nothing but winter clothes. I brought with what I thought was California weather clothes, but it definitely was not, guys. It was hot, as you guys can see. People were wearing shorts, short shirts, and I'm over here in a big ass jacket. We arrived into their hotel and guys, this hotel was so stinking cute, guys. I absolutely loved it. So nice. I did not expect this at all. Me neither. I thought it'd be oh all colorful. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Okay, Blanca, I see you. This is so nice. Where am I? This is so nice. So we have made it to Blanca Jonathan's hotel. It is so beautiful. It's like a, it's a Disney hotel, right? Because we're in Disney. And um, it's so nice. I've never been to any of these rooms. I'll be me and Adrian, which is mind blown the entire time, to be honest. We're used to like holiday inns that don't have anything. <laughs> so it's super, super nice. Um, we're just waiting for Blanca Jonathan to go in. And I'm just gonna just kind of freshen up, just kind of fix myself a little bit. From there, we're gonna head over to the beach, which I'm super excited about. I think I mentioned to you guys how hot it is here. It's like 74 degrees and it's really, really hot. Like I brought nothing but winter clothes really warm turtleneck sweaters. Like I guess. Hey. Hello, how are you? It's nice here. Thank you. What I'll do? There's more. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> nah, babe, you're tripping. What hey, happened? You don't want to air out some scratches on your forehead. <laughs> this is crazy. It looks like Europe. Yeah. And like I told you guys earlier, this place was magical. And honestly, I don't think we could have chosen a better place to take these pictures. It was the exact style and theme that Blanco was asking for. So I was so, so happy that we found this location. Whenever I'm doing any session that involves it being a family session, I absolutely love do the entire family first. And then I'm going to end it off with self portraits. So I'll kind of explain that a little bit later. But I like to do the entire family because sometimes the babies are little and they don't want to be sitting down just staring at me for the next two hours but we want to make sure that we get those pictures of the babies looking over at the camera in the first 10 minutes because baby's attention spam is not very long so we definitely need to use it as much as we can but we allow the parents to just kind of have fun with the session and we just kind of ask the baby to turn around that's my ultimate favorite like the parents are just kind of in the moment and the baby is looking over that was a good one okay guys so we are Taking some quick shots. I'm doing some of my 50 mm just to kind of get some quick shots, but I'm gonna change into my my 80, which that mama she's gonna like capture some crazy photos because it's gonna make it super blurry in the background. But let's get it. This session in particular, we did what's called a lifestyle shoot. So in my opinion, how I like to do these is I just like for everything to be in the moment. I don't like it to be very posed. I want the baby to be playing around. I want him to show his personality in this photo shoot. My goal for this style of photo shoot is for the parents, the kids, everybody to look back at the session and just feel like a frozen memory. Like they actually lived this and I just captured it and stopped it forever. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. When working with babies, we have to realize that we are working with their time and working with their attention spam. So when you give them a pose, you have to realize that they might not want to do it at the moment, but when they do do it, you need to make sure that you're ready to go. Parents and photographers, please don't get overwhelmed because more than likely they're going to do it later on that day. Hey guys, we went in with the ADM and I love these. Like I mentioned earlier today, this is a very lifestyle shoot. So I wanted to capture a moment. I wanted to show everybody's personality. So I told Blanca and Jonathan to just kind of sit down and just play with the sand. Just kind of act like if they're here all alone and I'm just hiding in the back of the bushes. I did from there go ahead and pose them a little bit, but I always ask them to just kind of go in in their natural pose. And from there, I'll just kind of guide them and I'll move them around just a little bit. In regards to angles, you just have to move around. This was something that I was very intimidated to do, but I definitely got a lot better at it. You just have to move around and get different angles, get different locations, get a little lower, get a little higher. For example, this angle right here that Adrian has is so beautiful. And I'm honestly kind of sad that I don't think I got this exact angle, but this is what I mean by saying that you just have to move around and you just have to get the different angles to get the perfect shot. And when I mean you have to be prepared for these toddlers, you have to be prepared because this moment right here, I had to be ready to capture this moment. It was so cute and how can I not capture it? Having somebody else with you is so helpful. Adrian's in the background making noise, trying to get Franco to come in, and Jonathan did an amazing job of trying to get Franco's attention. This is so helpful because holding this big camera is a little difficult trying to still distract the babies. How are these coming up? They're nice. Now that we're on the topic about cameras, I know that the number one question is gonna be, what camera do you use? And as, as much as I would love to tell you guys, buy this camera, you'll be the best photographer ever. Unfortunately, that's not how it's gonna work out. I started with the Canon Rebel, which costed me $400 on the Black Friday sale. I used that camera for so many years, and I'm not gonna sit here and tell you guys that that was the best quality camera, but it got me through those $20 sessions that I was doing. I didn't decide to upgrade to my Canon R, which is the one that I have right now, until a few years later. If I'm being completely honest guys, practice really will make it perfect because having a fancy camera did not teach me everything that I got to learn after so much practice and after seeing so many clients. Seeing clients is really what's gonna show us what we need, what we need to improve on, and what needs to get done. I did do a few workshops which did help out. I watched a lot of YouTube videos, and honestly, that's the best thing I could tell you guys to do. It's so hard to actually learn if you're not actually doing it. So grab your niece, grab your sister, grab your daughter, grab anybody in the house, and just take random pictures of them. I promise you, you'll literally be way better than what 
what you wore last year. If I can give you any advice in regards to lenses, I would say to get the 50mm. That's the first one that I was using with their shoe, honestly. I still use it till this day. This is one of my first lens I ever used. It gives you that quality where the background is still blurry, but it's super lightweight and super, super affordable as well. So that's one of the first ones that I would recommend. I also use the 80mm, which is the one that you guys saw earlier. That's the big mama one. That one is pretty pricey and honestly, it took me a few years to even purchase it because I was like, I don't know if I'm trying to pay that much for this lens. It's definitely worth it, but I would not recommend this as one of your first lens that you would purchase. Although I don't know every single tip I'm definitely learning just as well as you guys and I really hope you guys love this I tried my best to answer every question that I've ever gotten asked about my photography there's so much more to it and all I can really tell you guys is just practice because that's what really kind of got me to where I'm at right now and there's so much more that I have to do but as of right now this is all I know and this is all I can give you guys right now I will definitely make a video that's a little more detailed okay guys so we just finished up and we're about to go these up these crazy stairs are you are you ready because I'm not going to labor in these stairs. Fuck, honestly. man, these stairs are fucking intense. Let me put this flash on. I'll tell you guys right now what happens. Cause look at these stairs. Forty, Adrian, look at it. Recording. Maybe that's what keeps it from um from people coming over here. Yeah, that's what I said. All right, we're done with the wooden ones, and we're still not done. We're going up the other stairs. This is gonna work out. This is intense. No wonder there's nothing but fit people here. Leg. <laughs> like my leg isn't working. <laughs> what do you mean your leg isn't working? You gotta watch, baby. Tupa. Oh my god. That was freaking hard. All right, guys, let's just take a little break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Adrian, you did not say one thing. Are you okay? I've been trying to catch my breath. He was holding his breath the whole time. Yeah. The next day we headed over to San Diego to take some pictures of Stephanie's baby. It was so much fun. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. I know it was a little all over the place and I wish it was a little more organized and I talked to you guys as I was taking the pictures, but I definitely needed to be in the moment. But please stay tuned for the next vlogs in California.